G'day, my name is King Admiral Commander Black Dragon Double Elite at your service. Now, I'm currently exploring the universe, we've just finished this system, and I'll show you where I am at the present moment in time and space. So here I am, and that's how far away we're from there. So, we're getting there. Now, I've just been to this nebula. We're going to this nebula here. So what I normally do is I found this one here um, earlier, like using ED Discovery, uh, Discover, um, and I found that one. Now that is currently 4,500 light years away. See so now you can't jump there, of course, but what I normally do, I've already I've already got a uh, plot. Um, made, but this is how I make it. I can always add it into it later. So I'll look at this, I've already marked that one so you know where you're going. And you just have a look what stars are around here. There's not many, there's no neutron or anything like that there. But what I normally do is I go, okay, we'll work out, got the 300 light years here, um, go up to here. And you can sort of work out the general pathway you really want to follow. So what I'm going to do here is I'll go to this one. I sort of want to get a bit more angled there. And we'll just go to this one. Now I'm happy with that. It's roughly where I want it to be. It's pretty much on the same part, on the same line as that one in space. So tell the computer to plot the course. Now I already have the next jump range I really wanted to there, it's actually saved up, but since we work on the triple monitor system, it's going to make it a bit harder. Now, I can put this onto economy rate, and that would, actually a little, there, yeah, that's going to be a massive extra amount of jumps as you can see. Um, we'll quickly go over here, we'll quickly have a look at the jumps, how much that is going to be. That's 50 jumps. But if we go back into here and put it onto the fastest one, and we click onto here, now that jumped down to 22, which is still a fair few. So, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into there. Now, I think this ship to me is probably the most, the best exploring ship in the world actually in the, in the game so far. Now, yes, okay, the Anaconda can jump further. Depends on where you're going. Like, where I'm going is I'm going to be going to this place and then I'll probably go and be staying in reasonably the, where you can jump decent jump range to. Uh, I'm not going out in the arm. I'm not looking for the uh, rift or anything like that. I'm not going to go down to the neutral field where I might not get um, the jump range I need. But what I want to do is I want to go to... I'll quickly show you. So, as you know, I'm going to be heading off to this one here. So I'm going to look for more neutron... I'm going to look for more um, nebulas. Right, so... On just on this map, you, if you go here, you can zoom in and you can see other nebulas eventually. Preferably towards the core, you can see them. But I'll keep exploring till I can find other nebulas and go to there. Once I'm, once I'm here, I'll work out where I want to go. I want to go down this pathway. I'll head towards the core. But towards the core, there's heaps of them. If you can... Well, I don't think I can pick them up on this. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's... Maybe I have to get closer to the what's the core or something like that to see them. But I wanted to try to get to other nebulas and have a look what's around there, which you can get to just by putting in the right coordinates. So let's jump and have a quick look at what we do when we leave the system. So let your friendship drive charge up. As soon as it says that, Two, put your one, speed back in. 
So you already know where you're roughly you're going to. You're probably going really to go an economy route or this one. And all you're doing is pretty much jumping. Looks absolutely fantastic. Now, first thing I do is I hit the scan button to have a ping of the area to horses from the dinner bell. Now, there's one 199 objects here, so I'll quickly scan the sun and we'll go a little bit forward. Now, I'm picking up fuel scooping. Now, I'll put it back to neutral and just go into the system map. Now, this will tell me what those 19 planets or 19 asteroid things are. As soon as it comes up. I'm only getting about 20 to 22 frames per second at the moment, and I'm going to get 60. But, can't complain. Fuel about. scooping complete. Come on. Okay, so now we've entered this system. So, we've got one, two, three suns. Of course, we're going to be scanning all those three suns, so we're not quite sure about the route. Oh, hello. That's metal rich planet, but I don't know if it might be terraformable. So, that's going to be our first complete. target. It's 300 odd what goes on. And we've got the same thing here. That could be terraformable. Oh, this one. This one here. Um, that might be too close, but it could be still. What I'm going to do now is I'll quickly, as I said, we've got that one selected. We'll fly to that one. And what I'll do is if we do get close enough, I'll do a flyby. And you can have a quick look at it. That's still the sun, so. Fuel scoop hmm. disengaged. No, I want to get really close to scan that one. I want to do flybys and stuff like that. Oh, that looks awesome. Now, we were at 300 uh, light seconds away from this, so I'm going to quickly... Uh, yeah, we'll see how we go. I'll fly for the first couple of ones, and then I'll probably end up... Um, just maybe because the video will go for a long time, because... The recording is, yeah. Now here, I like to turn the orbital lines off. Um, if we can get rid of that circle, it would be good. But I know you could, but you wouldn't be able to get close. Ah, oh, I'm going too fast again. Dan. So let's scan her and right around her. Scan by. Now I want to have a quick look at this one and then we'll do a flyby. And normally I'd just, just cut, jump in, scan, I'm doing a video of this, jump in, scan it, have a look at it, fly to the one of the planets, um, then just record that from there onwards. But uh, it's a high metal content world. Um, we'll click on that and find out what it is. Oh, it is a candidate for terraforming. Now that's impressive. So what I'm going to do is do a quick flyby of that, because I normally wouldn't expect it to be here. I'll normally be about here. But I'm happy with that. That might be terraformable too, which is good. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to basically do a quick flyby of it. Um, get it speed up about to there, and then we'll go into the external camera. Now this is with triple monitor effect going. Oh, that does look nice. I 
really got to get dangles right on this one. <laughs> that does look good though. Oh. Well. Oh, the camera head there. <laughs> oh, that looked good actually going over the cockpit there with the um, planet coming up through that. I've really got to learn how to get the angles right there flying like that. So, now let's get back out of this mode and select the next planet. Now, I know this takes longer than what other people do and stuff like that, but I don't mind the time. You're out here exploring, you might as well enjoy the beauty of what the universe has to offer. And this is how I look at um, when I'm playing the game. And when I'm in combat, I like to enjoy the beauty. Um, stuff like that. Oh, that's why I can't wait for the ice worlds to come out. Which will be awesome. I uh, think when you can go into the um, ice, ice rings and shoot them instead of doing other mining. So now, we're going to be travel 700 light years to there. Now, I might end it, um, I'll stop it here after this video because you've seen how I can travel there. I'll do a couple shots um, of being how close you can get to the planet just to fly by and have a quick look at them. Um, if this opens up, it'll be good. Because uh, we've still got to go one, two. We've got all these ones here to explore. This will probably be a uh, rocky or a nice world, this one right at the end. And the moons will probably won't be much either. But we're going to go explore this one, then we'll go these two, and then we'll go across here and see if this one's terraformable down here as well. But since we're traveling, we've got six, 400 light seconds to go. two terraformable planets. Now that is impressive. I'm hoping these two might be two terraformable, but I think the size that is really, really awesome. So we'll do a flyby of this one. And we'll get close enough and we'll go do a flyby. External camera. Oh wow, look at the colours. You can see the blue, slight blueness of this planet with the brownie grey and slightly green. Is that up? Would that be the North Pole, that white dot? So, what I'll do is I'll continue on with this journey. And I'll only do um, flybys of each particular planet I come across and work out what they all are. So have a quick look going to your left hand monitor. See how big that is. Really enhances um, the planet. Same, you can go to this one that shrinks it right down. Go to the right hand monitor. 
So the view factor to me of a triple monitor system it pays better to fly say like an ASP Explorer because the view you're getting from the cockpit you can see two of the oh, you all three suns there that's that um, ne the Nebula went through before so we're going to continue on exploring but as you can see um, with a triple monitor you're not getting all this effect now I have pulled this back further so you can actually have um, see more of the sides and stuff like that which is good um, but as I said before you don't get that full effect when you're doing a fly by even if we're just doing this in the ship we have a look, we'll go past it like this and yep we're just looking now at the right hand the right hand window yeah it's okay, a bit of um, instancing I think problem there but if you just want jump range and um, and then you're not worried about the beauty of the universe and not worried about say, landing on planets or anything like that go for the anaconda but if you want to look at the universe want to appreciate it go for an aspect floor even with one monitor it's fantastic so I'm going to um, stop this video now and we'll continue on the video as we fly through space. What I'll do is I'll scan the planet, um, zoom into it, record that, show you what the planet is um, and then do a flyby of it. And I'll get close enough to get the reading first and go into the window so you don't waste the time of watching it just sort of zip and spin past. We shall be back. Okay, um, we're here now, and the first one is a high metal world, but it's not a candidate for terraformable, or terraform, terraforming. So we'll go to the next one, and we'll basically scan these, I've got a feeling that might be a rocky one, that could be a rocky one, the moons will definitely be rocks, but I'll scan them anyway, and I will scan that one as well. We'll quickly do a flyby of this one, shall we? We want to get a nice speed up before we activate the line by by the external camera. I really, this is before, I really wish you could find a way to adjust your ship's speed while you're in this mode. Would be good. As you can see, this one is not another candidate for terraformable. So we'll go to this one in a minute, but we'll do a quick um, flyby. Just want to get into the right spot. Not oh, too fast. Slow it down.
slightly distorts it when you have the other monitor on it. And halfway through, that looks good this time. You can't land on it, which would be good. journey and um, we'll quickly scan the next um, planet on the way. So we have another high metal content world. We can land on this one. It's 1.64 sorry wrong one. and let's look at the kilometers actually I'm oh, sorry about this gravity is 0.24 G which is pretty good but we want to do a flyby, don't we? So this is how I like to fly most of the time. Unless I'm sort of like, in, in a battle I definitely like to use a trauma monitor because I've got, with the ASP, you've got that extra width. You don't get that in many other ships. I've, I like it in the Imperial Courier because it looks like you're fighting um, a fighter craft. Still fly by this particular planet. this planet B and we'll mark our next one and we'll do a flyby on that one as well. Gave this one another quick scan and it's not a terraformable world, I wish it was, but it's not. We'll do a quick flyby 
and we'll quickly scan this one as we're going on longer as well. As before that was a rocky one, which looks quite... I don't like that one. Um, this one here would be good maybe in the future to have a quick look at and like land on those type of planets. I might do that before I leave the system, I'm not quite sure. So, let's go do a quick flyby. The other one's in the distance here. Actually, we'll click onto that one. Slow it right down and do a scan. And then we'll do a flyby. And, where are we? Yep, as expected. Not much. External cameras. journey with a couple more planets we want to uh, have a look at and um, second last planet here it's just another high metal world not terraformable but we'll quickly go to this one which I'm gonna think is gonna be rocky or a icy world there we'll scan that as well but we'll do a quick flyby of this one oh, drinking coke speed comfortable and activate the External camera. I'm surprised this one's not terraformable because of the um, two ice packs it has. much have gimbaled weapons and sort of like if you get the right position let's see if I can try this one um, it's been scanned it's been scanned that's been scanned 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 I'm gonna find the ones un there we are unscanned now we're not in line why don't we want to push target ahead now if that was an enemy I could have scanned it target it and then fire if I even up here, because the torrented weapons are also the gimbaled weapons are looking onto it. So what I'll do is we'll go to this one and do a quick fly by it. Uh, so I know it's what it's going to be. Um, yeah, and we'll be back. Now, as is expected, this is an icy world, which it's not too bad in within itself. It's um. Not a candidate for terraformable, but terraform, terraform, terraforming 
Ah, let's slow down, we don't go too fast, I want to do a quick flyby off this one. Now, when I sat down, I thought about, like, I've tried other ships going outside and exploring space and stuff like that. Fair enough, some of the jump ranges of some ships are just terrible. Like, I do like the Corvette, don't get me wrong, and I would like to see the cutter out here. That would be awesome, but the jump ranges are terrible, but I want the view. I really are aiming for one simple thing. One simple thing only is the view of this galaxy. And look at this, actually doing a flyby of this one. Even though it's rendering that little <laughs> icy planet there for a bit. Um, but the view just of, say, your ship and of that planet. Try to get there, it's better than this one because it just expanded too big. And of the universe itself. It makes it worthwhile to look at. How quickly go fast. You see how big that makes that look. But, anyway. I do hope you liked this video. Um, my name is King Admiral Commander Black Dragon Double Elite. Signing off. Thank you again for watching my videos and all comments are welcome. I hope you like this little video, um, if so, please subscribe. You all have a great day now.